Got a couple of things going on today. The first one has to do with the back of the car. This is huge, big, big change here on the back. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain that later. Uh, but the central one we're doing today is up here in the front. And I think you all know that this is a plastic piece that can be removed and you can put a front license plate on there. Okay, let me get my little uh, light here and I can show you. See how it says Corvette in there? See that? We're going to paint that. We're going to paint that and put this back on. I'll be able to take it off and put it back on and uh, let's see how it looks. I've never done this before. I used to paint the letters on the rear of my Corvettes when they used to be sunken in. You know, the letters were uh, all sunken in and you could paint it. And it's easy to paint. I'll show you how to paint it. It's simple. You can do this at home. <laughs> but living here in Florida for about eight years now, I, f I don't even think about a front plate anymore. I know there's about 30 states that still require or try to have you to put a front plate on, but we don't have that problem here in Florida. So let's, let's get busy here and, and get this piece off. I'm going to take my trusty blade and work it in here and see if I can pop this. And you can see I've got the blade in there. Let me get my hand out of the way here. And I'm just going to pop this off. And this comes off very easy. So, we'll give you a look at it. This is what it looks like. And here's the front. And you can see in the front the Corvette letters. And we're going to paint those red. Kind of like the red on the stripe. I'm going to show you what you need. The two things you need are some, I got this duple color premium auto paint um, from one of the uh, places that dispense all these kind of equipment. I forget which one it was now. But I got this uh, down at the car dealer and then I got some acetone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape this off so it's just a little section here. I'm going to tape it off, I tape the rest of it off so it's not hit by the spray. And then what I'm going to do after I put the coats on, I'm going to spray it freely, but it's going to be masked off. Then I'm going to take some acetone. I'll probably use this uh, towel rag because it doesn't have as much lint in it, so it works a lot better. And I'm going to put some acetone on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe this like that. And when I wipe it, it should take all the paint away that's on the outside, but on the inside where it's recessed, the paint should remain. Pretty simple, huh? Let's see how simple it is. You never know when you do these things because I have, I've done others, but I haven't done this one. And uh, uh, it, should, it should work out fine, but let me show you. The first thing I'm going to do is going to clean. I'm going to use some acetone to actually clean this off and let it dry off and make sure this is totally clean around the letters. So that'll be the first thing I do. The other thing I want to stress is that when you're wiping it off with the acetone is to try to get in the letters. You could take a little screwdriver or something, maybe lay it down there and help get into the cracks and crevices of the letters that are recessed. So you might, you know, it's a, that's a thought. Just don't push too hard, just lightly, and make sure you have solvent on the rag when you do it. And these towels work really well, too. So that's about it. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, all of this. Now that I'm just about done, I'm going to take uh, all of this and I'm going to tape it off with kind of a, like a painter's tape. And I'm just going to leave exposed the section here around the letters. So I'm just going to, everything else is going to have tape on it. So I'm just going to leave that section where the letters are and, and everything else is going to be taped off like you're going to see right now. Okay, we've got it all taped off. I just have one little section here in the corner, on my right hand corner. 
that I want to tape off just in case any stray spray gets over this. Just one less thing I have to clean. So now we've got it all taped off and just the letters showing and a little bit of space above the letters and below the letters and to the left and to the right. So we're good to go. Now let's go outside and shoot some paint. Now before you shoot paint, remember this. Always start your spray over to the left before you get the letters and over to the right before you get the letters and go back and forth once left to right and the other way right to left. So here we go. That's the first shot. Here's the second shot. But notice how I'm I'm really leaving a lot of space out there so you don't get uh, paint puddles. I, that's the one thing I think I worry about is paint puddles. So always start the spray on the outside and you'll be good. So now I'm going to put a couple of more coats on and we're going to let it dry. And I think it's important to do that between coats to let it dry. I would wait maybe a minute or two. You don't have to wait very, very long. Now I'm turning the can upside down. I want to squirt the paint out because um, until there's no paint coming out. And that sort of gets any of the cruddy crud that's in there that might spit out on you. Your beautiful work you're doing here. You don't want that to happen. So, so we look like a pretty good. It looks like it could use maybe a couple of more passes. It looks a little bit dark on the letters. So I think I'm going to uh, give it a couple of more passes here, and I think we'll be good. So let's let's uh, let's give it a couple of more passes here. There we go. And that's good. We'll let that dry off a little bit, about 30 seconds to a minute. And now we're going to take, start taking all this. We'll take all the uh, uh, tape off, and then we'll clean everything up. Okay, we got all the tape off. You can see it over there to the left. And you can see the paint that we have to wipe off. So we're going to get the solvent and uh, these paper towels and wipe this carefully. Uh, try not to get it slopping with solvent because then it'll, the solvent will get too thick and get, uh, get into the crevasses that you have where the letters are. But the good thing about all this is that you can always start all over again. You, know, you can clean this all up and do it again if you screw up the first time. So, But usually you get it the first shot. I, I, I can see 99% of you getting it the first shot. So take your time, clean it off, um, get it looking good. And before you know it, you're going to pick it up and uh, bring it up in front of your face and you're going to go... Oh my gosh, look at that. I did it. Yay. <laughs> so give it a shot. It's a lot of fun, and I think you'll like it. The big news on the back end is I'm getting rid of this plate. As some of you know, um, I have an order in for a Z06. I don't know when I'm ever going to see that car, but anyway. Uh, I have here a new plate for the uh, car and I got this plate in anticipation of getting a Z06. So I'm going to have to put this plate on now. Florida rules and regulations, I got to put the plate on now. So I guess I could say I'm kind of a poser because I'm posing uh, as a new owner of a Z06, but I'm not a new owner of a Z06 yet. With the expectancy of seeing this plate when I, the Z06 does come in someday next year, <laughs> I'll be able to trade this plate over onto the uh, new Z06. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget you can help us out here by subscribing. You can also help us by leaving a comment and you can also help us by hitting the like button. So hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. I love your comments and most of 99% of them are really, really great. I got a couple of little goofy ones, but most of them are very, very nice and uh, I, it's a pleasure to read. So a lot of smart people out there that own Corvettes and I appreciate your comments and your subscription and your like. That's it for today. See you in the next one.